All right. Let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. Well, it's Friday again. 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 Friday. Except this Friday. Yes. We have cocktails. Cheers. Yes. And we have a guest. We do. Again. Oh. Oh, no. Who, who we got today, fellas? Who do we got? Uh, <laughs> Bring them on in. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I feel so much at home, man. So I don't feel like a guest anymore. You really you know, not. You guys are, yeah. No. Dude. So yeah. Garland, uh, uh, tell us your background mm. and then we'll get into how we met, what you're doing now and that kind of thing. Yeah. So background, uh, not much to it, man. I just uh, came in, went in the army at, at the age of 18 out of uh, New Orleans, man. And I spent, you know, 28 years in the army. 28 years. So not much to it. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I, not we can, much. We can I just, breeze right over that. Yeah. I just kind of, you know, kind of got this. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do after that? I, get tricked, I got tricked into this job, man. And it did say, hey, you could travel and all this stuff. And uh, so I did it for 28 years and. And ended up in San Antonio. Right? So but did did you decide to get out, or did they decide? That oh no, you're I went out? on my own terms. Okay, good. It's so, twenty eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I don't so, know. I mean, if, if I had to deal with you for twenty eight years, I'd be like, okay, man. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, as a, there are a lot of people who who go in, and uh, and you know, even guys at thirty years don't yeah. go on their own terms, right? Right. Because you can stay for forever now, like I mean, thirty five years or whatever. Yeah. But, but I know guys personally who you know, didn't go on their own terms. And that was never my thing, man. Yeah. You got to know when to fold them, right? So, yeah. So I wanted to, I retired when I wanted to, man. And it, and it couldn't have been, couldn't have been better. Yeah. Nice. I was like, I had a great career, man. I saw the world. I got, I was, I had probably, I think 13 duty stations in 28 years. Wow. Nice. Um, yeah. I had a blast, man. And uh, even, even the deployments, right. You mm -hmm. know, you, they suck while you're going through them, but, you know, it's yeah, there's, there's moments. Though, yeah. though, right? When you look yeah. back on it, it's fun. Yeah, yeah it's fun, it, but it's kind of it, until you really do think you about feel it. weird, but thinking <laughs> it's fun. Builds but, character. Yes. Yeah. yeah. At first, you're like, I'm scared. Right. Then you're like, Oh, this is kind of cool. And then you're like, yeah. This sucks so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you're like, Man, I kind of miss home. And then you yeah. get to go back, and you're like, Okay, yeah. uh, I remember this. Yeah. yeah. It's like, Can I deploy again? Yeah. yeah. I don't like this but <laughs> anymore. Actually, I didn't want to deploy again. Like you, I, you know, when deployment number two i had just been home for a year mm. getting ready to deploy again I mean, you kind of like you know with the family and everything you're like ah you know this kind of sucks mm. but then once you land in country you're like okay let's do this yeah you know like then yeah, you're yeah. Ready to go. Yeah. so garland how many times did you deploy i i don't remember that many yeah but some of them were short deployments yeah. right so i wasn't all one year i had i had the longest one i had was one year long, okay on the mid team and then I had a couple of eight month deployments yeah. and then uh then a bunch of four months. So what uh, was your so job while you were in logistics? Logistics. Mm -hmm. And you started out as field artillery, right? No, no. So initially, but I never did the job, right? right. So I can't I don't logistics the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just say that. Because right. I never I never really there was this was back when I was telling Scott this story is when in ninety-three the army was still analog right it was still right. it was still well paper right yeah so they had me gave me this file and you know i was supposed to as a matter of fact you used to remove it even until like the like early 2000s we you, you still had to travel with your 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 file like when you left you signed out they yeah they, it's all it's like up. it's like a packet of paperwork yeah, yeah 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 so when i initially signed up i signed up my <laughs> my original contract was to be 11 bravo and for four years okay so they lost the, my packet at MEPS. So when I went back, my recruiter was like, first of all, when I signed that contract, my recruiter, like his name is Eric Dawson, man. He was like, he's like, what the fuck are you? Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> like, what were you thinking? And I was like, hey, man, I just, you know, I wanted to leave. That's the quickest I can leave, right? right? And I, he knew that I wanted to, you know, leave uh, early. But um, so when I, you know, fast forward, I did the delayed entry program. So when I finally went back to ship, we had lost the ship, right? So, so I called him up and he's like, "Don't, don't sign nothing. Wait till I get up there, you know, and all this stuff." So, yeah, it worked out for me, man. Um, because he he actually said to me one time, he said, uh, "He's like, uh, do you like cold weather?" I'm like, no, I hate cold. Weather. <laughs> Still today, I fucking hate it. Yeah. So they send you Alaska. So no, they, I, I would have been out of there quickly. <laughs> yeah, it, it wouldn't last. It wouldn't last at all. But uh, <clears throat> they. Uh, 
He said, he said, hey, so you don't like cold weather. He said, you, you never step outside before, right? I said, no. He said, who do you know sleep outside? And I was like, I don't know, homeless people, right? And he's like, exactly. You're going to be cold and homeless. That's you a know? great way to describe yeah. an 11 brown. Like, yeah. Homeless. And wrong. I was like, man, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't care, man. I was just, you know, going in the military. I thought, you know, it's cool. But um, when I went back in and the fastest way I could leave, I had to pick. It was a logistics job, right? Oh, Pretty okay. Much, yeah. And so uh, I left, uh, you know, and I just kind of did that. I moved around quite a bit, kind of, you know, touched almost every part of the army, man. Right. Yeah. yeah except like aviation. Well, I did aviation a little yeah. bit yeah, briefly. Um, but yeah, man, I had a, I had a blast. Yeah. Man. It's, it's, and a lot of your duty stations were the majority from stateside or you spent a lot of time overseas also? No, no. Uh, kind of a yeah, mixture. You yeah. Know, I was, uh, my overseas assignments, I spent about, uh, Nine years overseas, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Seven years. Yeah. Something like that. Um, man, I, I, man, I think I was at uh, Campbell, Bragg, Polk, Mead, uh, Gordon, Hawaii twice. <laughs> uh, uh, see, I say Hawaii twice and people like he got no reason to complain about shit right right <laughs> uh but it's the curse of paradise trust me yeah the Everyone. barracks is shitty the facilities are shitty i was a brigade sergeant major and i'm having to have soldiers put lipstick on a pig man yep yeah. it sucks right but there's no funding to it because it's paradise right people yeah. like you in hawaii shut the fuck yeah. up but it's not it's not yeah i mean it was great though i love i love that my, i love my time there um so what else that's oh that's a break yeah, I was at yeah. Bragg too. I was at um, oh, Virginia. I spent some time in Virginia. Um, so I you're all I, over the place. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it was good, man. Yeah. I, I had a I had a really good time. So you got out as a brigade sergeant major. Yeah, mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. yeah, and I think shortly after that, like within days, is when we met. Yeah, I wasn't even retired. I was on terminal. Leave. Terminal. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Within like, I think I. I was on terminal leave for like two or three days when I when I <laughs> came by to see you. Man. Yeah, because you kind of knew what you wanted to do when you grew mm-hmm. up, mm-hmm. which was uh, yeah, yeah. You, you came in and you were looking for advice on uh, opening a cigar lounge, mm-hmm. and uh, I kind of explained that that's uh, not what we do. You know, one one but, thing I remember very specifically from that first conversation when we first met you, we were sitting down in our old shop before yeah. we got moved to here. Um, and one of the things we talked about, I think it was within the first 10, 15 minutes of you being there, was the 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 lack of help that you ran into with trying to talk to other people in this industry mm-hmm. and giving you advice on moving forward with the passion yeah. project that you have of, yeah. of opening a cigar shop. And you said that you ran into roadblocks of people just kind of stonewalling and being like, yeah, it's good luck. Yeah. You know, like, oh, what about <laughs> this? Uh, you know, figure it out. Yeah, they kind of, you know, they'll offer help, right? Yeah. So there's the people that offer all the help but gives you none of it. Right, right. So something so I had that happen, uh, you know, but but I, I do think I'm I'm actually uh grateful that they didn't help. Because because it's when you have a crutch, you use it. Right. right? Yeah. And so uh and then the people that I think I mean I'm here for a reason, right? So it was a genuine relationship we started to build back mm-hmm. then. And there's nobody owed anybody anything, right? But just take up imagine if someone doesn't is not genuine and trying to help you, and they give you any kind of advice or any kind of support, they're in your pocket forever, right? Then they, they expect something. They expect something, right? right? Yeah. They think you. So, and then another thing is because uh, they didn't help, it forced me to learn shit, mm-hmm. right? Faster, right? So I'm grateful to them for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like when we first started too, um, we made a lot of mistakes and. Like we've said it a couple of times, the, the key is to not make the same mistake twice. Yeah. You know, because then you're not learning. You're not learning. Yeah. That means you're just, I don't yeah. know what you're doing. Like, oh, I tried it again. It didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it, it gets expensive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's way different when you're working for somebody. Yeah. And you're spending somebody else's money making mistakes. Yeah. But when you make mistakes with your own money, it, at least for the most part, you're less likely to do it again. Yeah. Because mm. it's your own, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Not 100%. only money, but time. Yeah. Right. Mm. You can't get, you make a mistake and it sets you back, you know, months or, yeah. you know, that's a. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when, when did you get out? 
And yeah. when did you, when was your first day in business? So we kind of, <clears throat> we kind of set up the, uh, kind of, we set up the business right before I went on terminal leave. Okay. Right? So in February, in March. So I went on terminal leave in March. My retirement day was July. I think I got my first permits in August. Okay. Something like that. Maybe October. And then I, we opened up, you know, the, the, the lounge. Yeah. Um, May. Okay. Right. May of 22. And you guys had to do your build out and all yeah. that fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that was prior to, so we, we, we actually got to sign a lease in, in February. Okay. And then, uh, we were done in May. We, we literally got done. We were, Hanging shit on the walls. Hours. Oh, I remember. Hours. 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 I, remember. I remember. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, man, it's yeah, it's cutting it close. But yeah, four o'clock in the morning. Yep. Bro, it was due to open at ten. So it worked out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good. And you say we because you have a partner. Yeah, yeah, EB. Yeah. And you met EB because you, you when you retired, you retired out of Hawaii. Hawaii yeah. So yeah. we were in Hawaii together. He's a marine. Uh, you know. Mm-hmm. So bless his soul. That's yeah. his heart. And an officer. And an officer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like he's got two strikes against him. But yeah, yeah. What strike? Yeah. Good thing he's a good dude. The strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what saves him, man. He's got a, he's got a strike and a half because he was former enlisted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's if true. it would have been full blown, like, yeah. you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Cadet kind of guy, then who knows? That probably never would have happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So man. you so you guys opened 2022. 20, 2022. Yeah. So uh, a, a year, year and some change year now. And a half, yep. right, right at a year um, and a half. And is it is it going as you expected? Is it yeah. going better? Is it going worse? So uh, one thing is, I expected to have to keep a money machine in the back to you know yeah. count money, right? No, uh, it's all digital. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, it's been good, man. I, I, so. Uh, Everybody wants something for nothing, right? We yeah. want to we want to open the doors and we want to flood it, people to flood in and all that. But uh, we were playing the long game, man. We I, I wasn't interested in the you know the quick buck. I wasn't right. interested in that. I wanted to build something that um, I had a vision for what I wanted four nine to be. Yeah. So um, it, it's I'm impatient sometimes because I'm I wanted to be I would grow fast. To, I see more growth yeah. right, faster at a faster rate. But right now, I mean, we're, we're, I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah. Right. Um, just considering that we're just, you know, a year and a half in. Right. So I think my expectations will, you know, are, you know, changing as, you know, I, I got, as I have some, some benchmarks that I like to hit, right. you know, at the two year mark, but then right. over that, I think it'll be different. Well, I think you, what, what you're kind <laughs> of saying is your expectations were more than financial. Right. You know, your yeah. expectations were to to build a community, which I think you guys did a great job of doing. Yeah. yeah. Like, I love your lounge. Thanks. Um, and the people are awesome. I yeah. always have a great time every time I go there. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's yeah. it's mm. fun. You don't have the the biggest humidor, but it doesn't matter because right. you have the the people right uh, make up the difference. And it's it's awesome. Yeah, it takes. But, you know, I think it's, uh, it's by design, too, right? So we could have, you know had a bigger humidor, um, but I was getting, it's, I, I stuck with my vision, my original vision of having more of a lounge, lounge space and to be delivered about the humidor. Right. Yep. Um, as, as opposed to, you know, having a massive humidor and nowhere to sit, yeah, yeah. you know? So. But, um, and, and sometimes having a massive humidor is like going to the cheesecake factory and they hand you a three inch thick book and that's yeah. your menu. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Like right. it's too much. Right. right. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, it's, it's, uh, I appreciate Scott, you being a, you guys, Warfighter, Team Warfighter is a, uh, you know, member of 49 Cigars. You guys been supportive of us since day one. So I really do appreciate, appreciate y'all, man. I feel like if I had a normal nine to five job, I would be able to go there more often. Yeah. But I stay pretty busy here. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but I, when I do go there, I have a great time. Yeah, it's, it's always fun. Yeah. So uh, speaking of that, we have an event coming up mm. uh, on the 18th of, of November. Yeah. So that um, actually tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It will be tomorrow. It will be yeah, tomorrow. Because this is going to come out on the Because this is coming out the 17th. Yep. So the so, event will be tomorrow. This is live, but we're airing it tomorrow. 
Pre-recorded, non-edited. Yeah. Put it down. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's actually going to be a really cool event. Yeah. Uh, because it's not just Warfighter that's going to be there. Right. I, I think right. you guys have Horse Soldier, Horse Soldier which is yeah. one of our favorite bourbons. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I am looking forward to that. I am looking forward to it. Man, yeah. it's so, so it's I'm really jealous. It's, it's really our, our extension of our Veterans Day celebration, right? Right. So we couldn't get it done, scheduling conflicts. So we say, well, you know, we figure it out. We, you know, figure stuff out all the time. We just have another Veterans Day event the weekend after, yeah. Yeah. right? To make it work. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to it, man. I think it'll be a great, uh, great experience, man. Yeah, great I time am. too. It'll be good. So we'll do something. Yeah. What time does that start? Uh, 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, all of our events will be 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. Even though we stay open until midnight, so it usually that <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it goes six, outside till two. Yeah. yeah. 6 p.m. <laughs> until you have to go yeah. home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Got to go outside. At, you know, yeah. around midnight. Right? Yeah. No, it'll it'll be good. It'll be fun. Looking forward to it. Um, yeah, uh, shit, we covered a lot in a short time there. I know we yeah, did. Uh, uh, well, let's get into. Yeah. So this is the first lounge owner. Yes, that we've had on the show. Really? Um, yeah, and so it, it's kind of going to give a little bit different of a perspective into everything that we've talked about previous to this, uh, because it's. Like we've said that our perspective on things is skewed because we're a brand owner. Yeah. Right. And so like we talked about some things about going into a cigar lounge and, and, you know, buying cigars and, and, you know, all the etiquette type stuff like that. Mm. But it's a little different for us because anytime we go anywhere, we bring 10 or 15 cigars with us, Right. you know, because it's, you know, the, the, if I'm smoking a cigar and somebody asks about it, I'm going to be like, Oh, here, yeah. I have one. Try it. Uh, obviously in a cigar lounge, I typically don't do that. Um, well, I think it depends which hat you're wearing. If too. you're walking in there as John Simon's owner of Warfighter Tobacco, yeah, it's different than if you're like when I go in there sometimes. Just I'm go just going out. in there to hang out, so exactly. I take the hat off and I hide it. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm just yeah. yeah. I'm just yeah. here to smoke cigars. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but from from a lounge owner standpoint, what are some of uh, um, I don't know, pet peeves for lack of better words. What are some things that uh, that you've noticed that that patrons do where it, yeah. you just kind of like look at and you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we've so, talked about a couple yeah. and I'll leave this one off. OK, because like every time I go into a cigar lounge, I might bring some cigars with me. Yeah. But I always purchase the amount of cigars that I'm going to smoke that night, whether or not I smoke the two or three that I purchase or I smoke a different three. I purchase the amount of cigars that right. I'm going to plan on smoking in there. Yeah. And so I think that is, is an etiquette that, you know, it's, it's probably hard for a lounge owner to like, I mean, how do you go around and police that? Mm. Right. You go, what, what number of cigar are you yeah. smoking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we, yeah. So, but, but explain, yeah, explain why somebody shouldn't go into a lounge, bring their own cigars and not purchase anything. Right. So that's, uh, you know, how much time we got, first of all. Right. We, we got as much here. time as you need. Oh, <laughs> nah. Well, you know, first of all, I mean, we got to, you, you you see the, the our uh, patrons that come in, where we have a pretty good uh, group of guys. They're there, great. And ladies that come in there, yeah. right? And they're uh, buying cigars for right, each other. Right. Like, it's a good group. Yeah. It's a, yeah. We, you try to create, like you yeah. said, a community, right? Yeah. Um, so, but we do have some outliers, man. And, and usually there's people who hadn't been there before. Yeah. And it'll come in like, uh, you know, one guy comes in and they, uh, just to just to, you know, add some perspective to this. We <clears throat> on Sundays, we typically do free pizza and wings till it's gone. Mm -hmm. So it gets there around noon and it's out there. And usually it lasts, you know, yeah. it's enough to last. And everybody eats. Right. Yeah. Um, we give, you know, we do free ice and cups. Um, and I think our customer service is, is you know, great. It is great. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you pay for an experience. Right. Um, so when I get a guy on Sunday come in, and even if we have an event the night before and we have leftover, whatever, uh, uh, beer, you know, we'll give it, we'll just give it away. Right? Yeah. So, but you get a guy come in and hypothetically speaking, right. Guy comes in and says, uh, hey, I'm good. 
I, I got my own cigars and walks to the back, right? I'm looking for somebody else, I'm meeting somebody here. Yeah. That's the that's that's kind of the the standard line yeah. to these people, right? And how many chairs do you have in your lounge? Man, shit. Probably like, 16. In 20? the back? Uh, yeah, about 16. Yeah. Yeah, 16. And you can set, you can sit probably 20, 20. Yeah. And then we have folding chairs, right? right? Yeah. And so, um, but yeah, this guy, you know, one of his, this one particular time he has his, his buddies having a, have, have a a beer he said hey you know what i mean i guess he asked him where you got the beer he told me he gave it to him and mind you it just said he didn't want to buy cigars right, right? and so um <clears throat> you know i get notified about it so i go to go back there and he's as i'm walking up to him he's asking uh you know so one of the employees hey uh, can i get a beer and, and i need some ice too right and he's got food he's got a pizza yeah. on the plate and I was like, hold on. I say, no, you cannot have uh, beer. And you know, like, this is not, you, you got food, you're asking for ice, you're asking for beer. Right. It's like, bro, you're not that cool for us to pay you to come hang out with us. Right. <laughs> right. So you have to buy something. Man, he's kind of looking at me like, you know, like the confused dog. Yeah. Right. And, uh, and his buddy started, hey, man, yeah, you got to buy some. He's like, well, I got more cigars. Why do I need to buy some? I'm like, man, it's kind of, you don't go to Cheesecake Factory with your McDonald's bag and say, hey, can I get a cup of ice? Or you, or, right. or you bring your own yeah. cheesecake. Yeah. Right. It just, well, don't do it, right? <laughs> so, but, you know, just to add, you know, more context to it is we, we are, uh, we're a small business, right? We're not playing with daddy's money. Yep. It's our shit. Right. And so we we invested in ourselves, invested in our business, and we we worked our asses off to provide a, a an experience to our patrons that you you'd be hard pressed to find it any anywhere else. Right. right? And yeah. I'm a little biased, but I'll say it. No, right? it's true. Yeah. And so um our only our main revenue generating item is a cigar. Right? Yeah. So you come in here with your own cigars all the time. You know, how are we going to, so hey, there have been people yeah. I say, hey, well, if I can't pay the uh, the rent, can I call you? Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. And that's because it, it's understand. like you, like, okay, so you're, you're paying employees. Yeah. You're paying rent. Yeah. You're, you're paying to stock your humidor. You're buying food. Yeah. You're supplying ice. All of this electricity, all the overhead, right? Yeah. You have 16 seats. Well, 16 in the back. Right. About 16 more in the front. Yeah. Okay. So say you have 32 yeah. seats. Yeah, yeah. On a busy day, you guys are packed. Yeah. yeah There's standing room only. Standing room only. Mm -hmm. And so if, if somebody goes in there and takes up a seat, not only are they not spending any money, but they're costing you money for somebody who would be spending money. Yeah. Right. 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 So, and I, I'm, I'm sure people that, do this might not realize they might not even think about yeah, it. Yeah, I think right? they just don't the yeah. cigar etiquette, right? Yeah. yeah. But I think it's, it's something that you really should think about, you know, you gotta you gotta if you like the cigar lounge, you gotta support them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, that's yeah. one piece of the etiquette. Yeah. Um a lot of the other etiquette we've talked about before. <laughs> and it's like, you know, how do you light a cigar? How do you whatever? Yeah. Like all of that. Yeah. You know, it kind of comes down to do what you want to do. Yeah. We really. find out what you yeah. like, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, there's certain ways, um, but uh, yeah, but the biggest thing for a cigar lounge owner, I can definitely see is just having somebody come in wanting to hang out and take up space, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, but yeah. And I mean, it's uh usually, man, we want people to come there and feel at home and be themselves and relax mm -hmm. and all that. But at the end of the day, it's still a business. Right? Yeah. You know, so and we don't, I just to, to touch on, this entire subject because we talked about it uh, multiple times yeah um and the reason why we talked about it multiple times is because it's it's kind of a thing in the industry um but it's not every person that does it no right out of everybody that comes into your lounge you might have what maybe one out of a hundred yeah easy and, yeah. and it's not that yeah. 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 and even <laughs> then it, typically it's because the person doesn't know yeah. right and then once you have that conversation and they're like, oh, I'm, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And then they go buy a cigar or they're just a dickhead. And you're like, yeah. okay, get out. And then you don't, and then, <laughs> yeah. and then it's okay to kick them out because you don't need them in there. Yeah. Right. 
So yeah. what we did was initially we said we had we, there's a twenty dollar minimum. Yeah, purchase to use the lounge. So we have people, you know, scuffing at that right because like twenty dollars. Why do you spend twenty dollars? All right, just the experience, right? And it's not it, it, that's it, you're gonna spend one that. if not two cigars. Yes, like easy. that's it. Easy. Yeah. Um, but you know. I, yeah, you know, it, we don't we don't get it very often, but we heard about it. But I'm like, hey, we're not changing that. Yeah. But at the same time, if you spend seventeen fifty, we're not gonna be like, hey, bro, you guys spend three more dollars. Yeah, yeah. It, no, it's we more, never. It's mainly no posted as and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's mainly posted as a deterrent versus or right. a, or a reminder or a, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we yeah. we 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 definitely don't want. There's a reason why we don't advertise certain things like free. Hey, we're doing free whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. we don't because we don't want. You know, we want yeah. people lining up just for free shit. We want we want to you know give it back to the people who are exactly. supporting us, right? Yeah, to your customer so, base. Yeah, <clears throat> so um, it, it, that that's very. It's not that many people, but when it happens, it frustrates the fuck out of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then you, you have some lounges too that have a cut fee, right? So if yeah. you bring your own cigars, you still have to pay five ten dollars to cut right. and light your own yeah. cigar. Right. right. Even, Essentially, even, you're paying rent for the yeah. seat. Even if you bring a seat. bottle, right? Some yeah. places you got you have to pay your yeah, cork, cork fees. Yeah. Cork yeah, because in Texas it's weird. Like you guys don't have a liquor license, mm -hmm. and so a lot of the a lot of the shops in Texas, I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. probably can't get a liquor. It's license. not just Texas. It's, so San Antonio has what I recall as the uh, Clean Air Act. Yep. Right. So I think it was, and I don't give me don't I can't I won't say the date because it wasn't that long ago. But they basically, if you smoke indoors, you can't sell food or alcohol. Right. And so, unless you were grandfather to you know, and you yeah. can do whatever. But uh, unfortunately, so it's know, a it's a bring your own BYOB, yeah. BYOB. You yeah. know, and a lot of the lounges in Texas are like, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some places, yeah, you can get, you know, you can. I know in Dallas, you can some well some places. Yeah, I think yeah. there's four places, five that I know of in the <laughs> state of Texas that you can smoke and order a drink in. And yeah. two of them are grandfathered. They've just been around forever. Two of them got um, uh, special uh, permits that essentially they had to petition the city and fight and, yeah. Yeah. and get them. Uh, and one of them has structured, has, has the, the physical location set up in a way where. It's two locations. It's two locations, but uh, it doesn't, you know, yeah. like you can. Yeah. It is what yeah. it is. Like if the state came in, they'd be like, yeah, it, you know, we're following your laws, but yeah. I can. Go buy a drink. Right, right. <laughs> like it's it, they found the gray area. Um, but other than that, Texas made it really hard to smoke and drink in the yeah. same building. Which is, I mean, you got to give in. You, you win some, you lose some, yeah. right? So the tobacco tax in Texas, you know, yeah, I, I can't complain about it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so each state has its own taxes, right? Right. Yeah, yeah your it, state import tax in Florida. There's none because that's kind of the cigar yeah. hub of the United States. It's Florida, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, yeah. zero. Right. In Texas, it's one point one cent per cigar. Yep. Yeah. But then you have places like uh, Utah and eighty six percent, eighty six percent. So yeah, I think on, California and Hawaii are pretty bad. California, yeah. they actually just California just lowered uh, right. by, by about five percent. They were at sixty one and some right. change, and now nice. they're at like fifty four percent. So we're they, not gonna get the guys flying in from California buying cigars. They want. Right. Oh no, you still will. <laughs> yeah. It, it's yeah. it's still an absurd amount of tax. <laughs> I mean, you got to think, like, let's say it's a $10 cigar. That means they're paying $5.40 in tax on it. Mm. No, they're paying $15.50 for the cigar. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even yeah, get yeah. to there. Right. But yeah. that's that's just the tax on one yeah. cigar. And Texas is one yeah. cent. Yeah. Which right. is like, part of the reason we moved here from Nebraska, because Nebraska yeah. was 20%. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, but every yeah. state's different. Like, if they, if they uniformly were like, okay, look, this is what the tax is going to be. Yeah. I don't think anybody would be upset with it. I mean, there's some states that would be upset, like yeah, Florida, yeah, Florida, Pennsylvania, yeah. New Hampshire, Texas, yeah. the the yeah. lower tax states. Yeah, but if they made it something semi reasonable, and but you got rid of all these super high taxes, yeah. Well, and that doesn't even account for the 41 cents of import tax that you bring it in just to get it in the United Going States, that, so. and that goes to the federal government. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, that's that's kind of. Yeah, but you know that's why we didn't open up in Hawaii. Oh Jesus! Yeah, yeah. I mean, but actually, it it might it might help because Hawaii, I think, within the past year, just passed a law that it's illegal for anybody to ship cigars to an end user in Hawaii. Oh really? So they have to. Buy so they can lounge. only buy them 
from local on the <laughs> island. Did they get that word out to? <laughs> I don't so, know. like the, the citizens of uh, uh, Hawaii. But well, they got it out to all the retailers. Yeah. yeah. So, no. Because because what happens uh, is the citizens don't get in trouble. The retailer, whoever shipped it, oh. is getting fined. So, like, for yeah. instance, uh, California, you have to ship signature required in California. Um, if you don't and you get caught, it's a $5,000 fine. Really? Every time. Man, that's good thing we have nobody in Hawaii <laughs> asking us to ship cigarettes. Well, and, and, yeah, and I don't know what the fine is in Hawaii, but. Uh, yeah. I don't want to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit, that kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. Can't but. ship to Utah. Can't ship to South Dakota. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's all good. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. Good, yeah. But so, how do you guys get come up with the name for your lounge? So, short version of the story is uh, first at first stab at it is just pure luck, right? Yeah. So we were trying to you know, come up with a name. And one day we were, you know, of course, smoking cigars and, you know, drinking. And and we came up with, uh, we were counting the number of countries that we had visited. Okay. Whether it's leisure or, you know, work. work yeah, related. business or pleasure right. didn't matter. So we, <laughs> mostly pleasure. <laughs> Under, this guy's a business. But uh, we, <clears throat> we came when we was 49. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, it, we not, thought nothing of it. And then uh, right before I retired, a gentleman asked kind of the same thing. We were at a, a, a place, you know, cigar bar. And he asked how many years I had served. Yeah. And, well, it would, would it be when I retire? And then I said, uh, it would be 28. And then he asked, you be, and it was 21. And I was like, man, that's 49, right? And I, I, so I'm a Saints fan. I hate the 49ers. 49ers used to roast the Saints every year. Right? And there's always a big play, 80 uh, yard touchdown, or some crazy shit like that at the end of the game. And uh, they used to break, break my heart every, every, every time. So I was like, we'll never say 49, right? And so we like, well, you know, let's say 49. You know, it's kind of, yeah, it kind of stuck. Yeah. And, you know, we, we went with it. I like it. Yeah. yeah, man. I like it. And it, it has meaning behind it. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and we didn't want to make another like, uh, like a Cuban name or yeah. you know, Dominican name or you know, or, or a yeah. cigar or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So we we kind of that's. I mean, I'm, I, I was I was a bit nervous at first because I couldn't. Man, we were thinking about that naming convention for a long time. Yeah, and you know, I was like, I was up all the time trying yeah. to find out. You know, I mean, it's always unique and and and. It was uh, it just kind of stuck, man. I like it. So yeah. you guys don't really advertise that you're a veteran owned lounge, like not a lot. No, like you're not over the top with it. No, um, but you guys are, and yeah, and I think we're black owned lounge too, and a black owned lounge <laughs> outside. But we are, yeah. but we don't have. So it, all right, so. It's, <laughs> no, this, this is, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna no, go here. No, well, no, 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 no. no. I'm just saying, like, all right. So the reason why I say that is because I knew, like you said, you don't advertise that you're better known business, right? right? But the reality of it is, it goes back to well, who we are as a brand, right? Um, we provide that we are a veteran owned business, and we appreciate veterans. We pre- appreciate the support for the community, um, but we provide a, a, a an experience, and we want you to not. Because I, I think sometimes people will come and visit because you're a veteran-owned business, right? Right. So right. Some, how many times we go to a business just because it's a veteran-owned business to give them shows of right, hope. right. Um, but then you get there in this crappy service or you know the, the whatever is not it doesn't meet your expectation, right? Our our goal is to always meet the expectation, right? Mm-hmm. So now you say, all right, you're a veteran-owned business. Okay, you go and visit and you love it, right? Right. You're like, okay, I'll be back, right? Yeah. So that's what I was. That's why I say that. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. But what I, what I can say is, <laughs> but because you guys are, I think you draw a similar, there's, I, there's always a ton of veterans every time I go into yeah. the lounge. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm always talking military service with somebody. Right. You know, and, and I think most people don't know it until they come in there. Yeah, I don't think right. so. Right. Yeah, because yeah. We, I mean, I think we put it on our, uh, I don't know if our Facebook, I mean, our um, website says it. Yeah. But, uh, but. Yeah, I mean, we just they come in and we start talking and right. But it's kind of what we want to do, right? We want to, we want to, you know, we want people to come in. We want to get to know yeah. our patrons. So uh, it's you spark the conversations, and that's that's how you know they find out hey, we're, we're we're all veterans. Yeah. So we're not only vet, we're a hundred percent veteran owned and veteran and operated. 
Right. So everyone who works there is a veteran. Yeah. 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 We're looking for more help. Yeah. We're always looking for employees. So if you're in San Antonio, you want to work at a really cool cigar lounge yeah. and you're a veteran. Yeah. Uh, go go see Four Nines. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. Four Nines. You know what? I yeah. might have a guy for you. Yeah. If it's Dave, I no. can't afford him. <laughs> <laughs> can't afford him. <laughs> Not Dave. Somebody who, who asked us for employment. Yeah. We just didn't have a spot. So maybe I'll. Yeah. So be, you know our personalities. Yeah. Right? So. But that. Or the, you, you think they'll fit? I don't know. I don't know the guy, but I just. Oh, uh, okay. I'm supposed to. I'm <laughs> supposed to be getting his resume one of these days. So, oh, really? so yeah. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that's good, man. Um, but yeah, we sometimes people take themselves too a little too serious, man. To, right. To yeah. Be in this, I think to be in this business, you have wow. to have some. You know, you, you got to be grounded a little bit. Yeah. Have I a little so fun. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can't take yourself too serious. No. There's, it, it, I think it's funny because in this industry, there's people that take themselves way too way serious. Way too serious. And yeah. we love to poke at that a little bit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's something we see quite often, especially but, when you go to the trade shows and stuff. You know, you, you see it. And you, right. It just makes us walk by and giggle, you know. But do you think, do you think that part of that is our upbringing? So we, were in, we spent a lot of time in the, you know, we were in the military. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we, we, we hang around people like us. Right. Yeah. So well, in the military, if you take yourself too serious, there's always somebody above you that'll cut you the fuck yeah, down. You know, right? so, <laughs> or somebody <laughs> better than you yeah. or faster than yeah. you. Yeah. Or, or somebody <laughs> smarter. Right? So, yeah. definitely. Oh, there's yeah. definitely somebody smarter. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Man. It's, yeah. it's like, so I think there's, yeah, I think it's a little bit, um, uh, it's just experience that makes us, yeah. you know, you know like the difference. you see some of these brands are like uber classy, right? Mm. I can't be that guy. Not no, because but, I can't be classy, but because I have done and lived in places that is the, of lowest class. Yeah. Right. I was that homeless 11 Bravo, <laughs> like sleeping in the dirt. Yeah. And, right. you know, like. Once you have been there, it's. I think it would be it's, really hard to yeah. like. I I can wear a suit, yeah. Right. I can get dressed up. I can do fancy. I can you know fine dining, black tie events, whatever it is. Like I can hold my own. Yeah. I know how to act. I know what needs to get done. If I have to wear that suit in order for you to have the conversation with me about anything, yeah. I yeah. don't want to talk to you anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. But a good if point. you wear that suit and you're willing to have a conversation, I guarantee you, after that conversation. You don't care what I wear. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that doesn't make who I am. Right. Where there's, and, and it's not a bad thing, but there's some companies that it's their, their outward projection of how they look is all they have is what they're basing their, yeah. their company off of. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like oh, my entire sales team, they all have to be in $2,000 suits, you know, yeah. they have to. I'll put a suit on. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just put a sports coat on. It's true. Close, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Close enough. Yeah. I think the only time I've ever seen you in like a suit suit has been like a wedding or a funeral. Probably. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, yeah, I'll wear a suit. There's a couple of yeah, events. Yeah, yeah, there's been a couple. Yeah, we did a couple of events. We had to. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wear a suit. I'm not against it. Week, yeah. But, but I, just, I mean, it's just. You know, I'm not going to show up to a trade it's, show in a suit. Yeah. I'm on my feet all day. Yeah. 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 It's, not <laughs> my, it's not our identity. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think you have to be that way, right? So whatever your, I think whatever your brand is, and you're true to that, then you stick with it, and and you don't you don't try to be somebody you're not. Yeah, right? so, it's way easier to be truthful than yeah. it is to live a lie. Yeah. yeah, like I think some of these, I think there's some brands that live a lie. Yeah, and that would be hard. It would get old uh, to do that. But well, the, I mean, yeah. the longer you're in business, the harder it is to keep that 
yeah a lot to keep you know what i mean like yeah. eventually people are gonna see through you yeah. yeah you know yeah i mean that's the same way i think i i would always approach the military right so, so i used exactly to always tell people especially at the even at the end of my career i'm like man there's people there are people in the military i knew you know since i came in the army right? yeah and uh they could tell you i'm the same person like i mean i have matured a little bit right, hopefully right. yeah but you know, the, nobody can ever say I stabbed them in a the bag, yeah, lied, to right. lied on them. The right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so I think um, <clears throat> some people, I think, don't get that lesson somewhere along, along yeah. the line. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, some some people. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, like I, I always tried to be a leader that worked for my guys and not for the chain of command right. above me. Mm-hmm. You know, like you have to do. It's a balance. Right. But uh, I would always let my guys in on the joke, you know, yeah. like, Hey, I got to yell at you now, you know, <laughs> right. <laughs> Somebody's watching me. It comes, yell at you. It's going to hurt a little. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, everybody's getting direction from somewhere. Right? Yeah. So yeah. have, have you transitioned anything that you did in the military into your business? Mm. Meaning like, if you do an event, do you, do you have an AAR afterwards yeah. after action reviews yeah. to talk good, bad and ugly? Yeah. Um, do you, uh, do you have, counseling statements yeah like all that shit. You, so you transition a lot of the things yeah so uh so we all have experiences from from that right from yeah that. so what i what i would always tell the, tell the guys is hey man look leave your military career behind you because nobody cares right? right the the day that you leave nobody cares. they forget about you right like i was i was kind of laughing when you when we first started talking you said yeah i was in the army for 28 years and then you kind of moved on yeah i'm like in my head, I was thinking, yeah, that's how much people actually give a fuck. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. I true. could say I was yeah. in the army for four years. You said 28 years. I know what it means. Right. Right. But, but a, a general reaction to both would be cool. Well, the same. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, that's awesome. Right. But yeah. it's just like, but, okay, what are you doing now? <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and so that's the thing. Like yeah. some people do go back to taking yourself too seriously. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the reason why, I mean, and so, so I said, Hey, you, you learn some things in the, in the military. Right. That you can you learn about discipline. You learn about people. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I, I always talk about people, property, professionalism, same stuff I used to talk about in the army. Right. Right. So all those things, those three things, no matter what you do in life, it's got to do with one, of, one, if not all three of those things. Right. Yeah. So that's easily translatable to what we're doing. Right. And so we we but I ban all military terms yeah like uh acronyms if you say fire for effect and for that i'll be like man <laughs> no, <laughs> or, or use military time yeah that's a pet yeah, peeve yeah. of mine uh don't say hoorah or who i mean like come on man yeah you know so you gotta you gotta know when to right. you gotta move on from that right yeah and i think uh but some of the things like you know like i said discipline people uh we learn that we learn how to how to um approach certain things yeah. right so and, and if you don't approach things with with uh discipline and in business then you might have to, some of those mistakes yeah. you make you probably double those mistakes you make well, like I, I teach my kids you know right place right time right uniform yeah you know like <clears throat> that's half the battle that's yeah. half that's literally right. half the battle right yeah so I, that's why I, so some things like that we do like we we talk about um like you said AAR as we we just we have a talk after yeah, i mean you don't have to yeah, call yeah, it yeah, that yeah. but, but it's the same we, right, we don't yeah, call yeah, it yeah. that but we use some yeah. of those same yeah. kind of same things yeah and we try to professionalize what we're doing right so we're not uh and i know to my sometimes you know you guys will be like hey i got an idea for you something that'll help for an eye right and I'm like, all right cool and he uh, start telling me this and I'm like, yeah, man, we can't do that. We we thought about it. This is why. And start yeah. going down the detail. And they're like, oh, okay. I got another idea. And it's like, <laughs> Fuck, man. That's a good but, idea, yeah, fairy. <laughs> but it's, it, it's like, then he's like, man, you guys th- thought thought this through. I'm like, yeah, no shit. Yeah. Like, that's that's. But the level of like experience we had, and, like LeBron was in army thirty years. Yeah. Right? The thirty years in army, man. It's, oh, that's so, a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and and. uh so you can't just discard your military career, right? Mm-hmm. But you can take everything that you've learned and apply it to something. Yeah. yeah. And that's what that's what we do. So yeah, we we kind of use the same. And so to a point, it's brutal. Like the yeah. the AERs are brutal. Yeah. Like it's not like a it's not like 
a nice AA. We, we don't tell you the good things you did first, right? And I, I like I'm, I mean, I I expect you to do good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna sit around and tell Ron he did like a, great a good job. job for saying hi to right. the customer when he walked in. Yeah, like, your no. fucking job, dude. <laughs> no, man, and I don't expect it, right? Yeah, uh, he he be the same way. We, we but, but when we come to our, um, I, I would just say AR for this, you know, yeah. purpose, but. We do that, you know, it's brutal. If I do something stupid, yeah, you know, I expect to hear about yeah. it, right? I expect mm-hmm. to, you know, and so I think that's the only way you get get better. Right? Well, I, if you try I, to massage each other. Part of, the, part of the nice thing about hiring all veterans is you can get away with being a little bit more brutal, mm-hmm. I think. You know, if we had, I don't know, like when John and I have a, a discussion about something that we disagree on, yeah. it gets fucking brutal. Right. Not often, but Not, when it does, it does. When it does, it does. <laughs> that's good, that's, but that's then a half hour later, we're good. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but it's. And yeah. usually the, 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 the reason why it got brutal had nothing to do with the subject that we were actually talking about. Well, most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something. Mm. There was everything yeah. else. And yeah. that was just the, the yeah. avenue for it to get. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then it was like, hey, sorry. I'm like, I don't know. I get it. Yeah. yeah. But, and then but we it, move forward. Yeah. yeah. But I think, I think uh, I, I always refer to like the lack of feelings. But yeah. it's, you know, like we're just able to take a little bit more. It's it's the shell. ability to receive constructive criticism without taking it as a personal attack. Yeah. 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 Because you're not coming at me because I'm a bad person. Right. right. You're coming at me because there was something that I did that could have been done a different way or a better way yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And you're bringing it to my attention in a, in a, in a way where you're not sugarcoating it. Yeah. And, yeah. and that is, I think, the disconnect between... Uh, the combat veteran group yeah. and the civilian population. And because yeah. I mean, there is a handful of civilians that you can have that same tact with. And they're like, yeah, cool. I get it. My yeah. bad. I fucked up. Right. Yeah. But for the most part, if you come at them the same way you come out, like e- 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 your peer group, it's yeah. going to look like yeah. you're attacking them, Yeah, but you're not, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. like I, I'm not doing this. I'm, I like, I might, you know, emotions might be a little high, but I'm yeah. not doing this. This isn't personal. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's where, the disconnect comes with a lot of people because they assume it's just like you're attacking me as a human. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, dude, you just, you fucked up in this one 10 minute part of a 24 hour period. Yeah. And I'm bringing it to your attention. <laughs> yeah. And then, but then you got that, that person will say, Oh, but all the things I did good, you didn't say anything. Yeah. Well, like, Cause you were supposed, yeah, supposed to do that. To it, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm terrible at that too. I should, yeah. I should, you know, as as an owner, right. it's probably something we should probably do. Is yeah. do a little more praising and less right. right. fucking. Hey, Justin, right. good let's, job. I was about yeah. to say, you're let's, doing a good let's job. Let's try it. <laughs> Scott, your turn. Your turn. Uh, he, he, you didn't fuck up today. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> we no. should start handing out gold stars. <laughs> 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 we put a big poster board up and everyone gets a gold star. Yeah, yeah. Every day. <laughs> it's employee of the week. You guys have employee of the week? We have an employee of the month parking sign. Oh yeah? We've yeah. never put did, it up. Did, I just handed it to you though the other day and I said, put this up. Yeah, but then you laughed and took it away. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's what? why I said I'll take it. I'll take. I'll take just, the one compliment. You know, yeah. That's the definition of giving someone just a little bit of hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One day I get it. Because like, this for me. Oh, it's not. I think. I'm, I think I'm gonna get. Yeah, we're gonna have an employee in the quarter. But it's only like there. I think we only have really three. If you really want to drive the point home, give it to yourself for the first three quarters, and then <laughs> on that fourth quarter, it'll mean so much to the person that actually gets it. Okay. You right. got to do it like they do in the army, though, where they put the picture up behind the counter uh, so nice. everyone sees it. Yeah. With the little right. little description. <laughs> I feel like it's being personally attacked, dude, right? Because, no, nah, I just, but a buddy, a, a old buddy of mine was visiting my old headquarters. Yeah. And he sent me a picture. Sent me a picture of my. Your picture was still up there? there. Yeah. yeah. It's so it's a former, the, you know, yeah, the lineage surgeon. of the, the yeah, leadership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was like, man, that's not even, I don't even remember that picture. It was like this, like the worst picture too. It's like, I'm, I'm it's like one of those stock, like DA with the yeah, flag in the background. Yeah, the flag yeah. in the back and yeah. I'm fucking, like, I'm angry. I was like, man, the picture I left, I was smiling. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know why they do that. But no, nah, it's just, it's, uh, it's always funny, man. It's always a good time. But I am going to do that. I think we're going to do 
We bring it to the group. We're going to have an employee of the quarter, and I'll nominate myself. For three of the quarters. But I got to do one quarter at a time, right? Yeah, but yeah, each, yeah. each quarter you have to have this build up, and then it's just you again. Yeah, for the first you, three, you should also do like a, a vote where everyone puts a name in like a bucket, and so it's blind, nobody can see, and then you're like, "Oh, looks like I won again." <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, guys and then awesome. that fourth quarter, everybody's just giving up. They think you're a fucking asshole and going to put your name up there again, and you put somebody else's name, and they're like, "Holy shit, I must have done really good." Yeah. It's going to make it mean that much. And, and then we got to cancel the bonus checks after the <laughs> <laughs> No, can't afford the bonus. Anymore, man. I mean, you guys yeah. got a picture now. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah. You get a picture, you get a bonus. It's one yeah. or the other. <laughs> oh, this I let the patrons pick. Oh, there you go. That's Before, the way to yeah, do it. Yeah, let them pick. Yeah, oh, yeah. It. I'm pretty sure LeBron will win. He's fun. Yeah? Just you saying you get, LeBron's got your vote? I, I think so. Scott, what thought we were boys. I we are, we were but I... Leron's funny when he's drinking. I really uh, appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But my, <laughs> dude, you got a memory. You have one memory that's probably stuck somewhere. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just <laughs> long actually night. long night, long night. You guys are the. Oh yeah, that night. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there was a good AAR after that night. <laughs> oh man, I, I think we. You know, I, you know, believe it or not, those things are we we put so much into an event. Yeah, like we talk about it so much. We, like, I mean, we we every possible scenario, right? Um, so those are can kind of easy unless somebody does something like just stupid, right? Yeah, um, and outside of just getting hammered. But, yeah. Um, so those are easy. It's just our Friday meetings. That's that's where it gets. Uh, yeah. Friday morning, yeah, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. That's where it gets bad. <laughs> that's where it gets bad. I go, I, I stretch before I go in. Yeah, <laughs> nice. get, ready, get ready for the meeting. Nice. You know, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> now you guys are a lot of fun. When like I've gotten to hang out with you guys, like at the trade shows and stuff. Yeah. yeah so yeah. not not in the lounge, not yeah, you know here, yeah. just but, but yeah. I like those nights. Oh, those are good. <laughs> those are real good. Yeah. I'm yeah. still recovering from the last one, I think. Yeah, yeah. well, the next one's rolling up here pretty Man, soon. That's quick, oh, great. Yeah. It's, this year's gone like quick. Mm, yeah. and I feel like the older I get, the faster time goes. Yeah, like it, but it but it, it's progressive. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like when I before I joined the military, I was 18, 17 in high school. It was like a day lasted five days. Yeah. yeah. A year is five years. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Right. And then I get in the military and it's like, okay, everything's sped up a little bit, but now it speeds up based on what I'm doing. Yeah. So like, I, like for instance, I get to uh, our, my unit at Fort Campbell and immediately we do a JRTC rotation, 30 days in, in Fort Polk, Louisiana. Yeah. Right. Shit. And that felt it at the time while we were there it felt like we were there for a year yes when we got back after that 30 days it felt like we were gone for two weeks yeah right they get out of the military and it's just like okay cool and then it was like a little pause for a little bit and then it just progressively started speeding up yeah and then now it's just like i blink and it's like it's fucking october yeah, yeah. like i thought we just started the oh god jesus christ <laughs> i think it's just a level of responsibility right as you gain more, gain more as you get older could be and then you get on the right, yeah. other side of time right yeah you, your better days behind you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah thanks for that yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, feel, I feel like my so, best days are still ahead of me yeah i feel like and it's it's interesting because like i i can look back and be like why well, i'd have like if i had fucking died tomorrow I look back like I lived an amazing life. Yeah. yeah. Like I've got to do some stuff that people of a very, very, very small percent of people in the history of the world have ever gotten a chance to do. Right. Um, I've got to see places and go places and do things and meet people and, and kill them. Well, well that too. You know? <laughs> uh, you know, but like it it all encompasses, you know, when when you really sit down and think and you look back at all the things you've done, little or big, throughout the course of your life, you're like, fuck, like I've I put some shit together in my yeah. life, you know. But then I look at the knowledge and everything that I've gained and where I'm at in my life right now and hopefully how much long I have left. And I realize like I'm just getting started on the fun shit. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, yeah. now I have the knowledge. And, and a little bit more cash flow. Yeah, I have a little you bit know, more means. Like, yeah. You know. You know, so yeah. yeah, like you look like 
the, my twenties and thirties, right? You think like, okay, those were great days. But at the, at the time they were, when I mean, you were in your twenties and thirties, you're like, I got this shit life figured out. Yeah. I, I yeah, know what I'm no, doing. But I, <laughs> you, you don't know shit. <laughs> if I had to, there's no way I'd want to be 20 again, unless I had the knowledge I have now. So what, what number would you go back to? If I had the knowledge of today? Yeah. Oh, shit, oh, I don't know. Six. 17. 17? Yeah. Uh, if I knew what I knew today and I could go back to 17. That's oh, like, yeah. so that's like cheating, right? I go back six. to like six. No, it is cheating. That is cheating. But if you're asking me to go back to the time and be 17 smart, there's no way. No, no, no. Way. 17, I'll stay, be, there's not a 17. You're smart. not smart no, at 17. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'll stay where I'm at. You think yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah. yeah. You think you're smart when you're yeah, 17. Yeah. 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 And I mean, like, I'd like to go back to when I'm like six with the same knowledge that I have. Oh, oh. That's criminal. That no, is, but it'd be so much fun. That's criminal. It'd be like, you can't do that. Be like, bullshit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But it, like, if I went back, with the knowledge I have now at 17, like, I don't know, there's so much more shit I could accomplish. Would you still join the army? Not if it's in today's time. Well, it's not because it's 50 years. Then I would have joined the army and I would, yeah. would have, I would have had a slightly different path in the army. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. I yeah. agree with that. I, I don't think, I think I would have still joined the army, but. Um, would would yeah. you have done 28 years? Yeah. Would you I'm happy it? I did. Same yeah. same career path, or would you like veered off and done? No, my else? career path was amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, like I did. So I think our experiences yeah. varied quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's it's uh, I mean, I yeah, I couldn't, I wouldn't trade it. Yeah, yeah, no. job wise and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would I, mean, I would start my career in the military with the same job. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because and, and we've talked about this in the past, not on this show, uh, but. The reason people join the army or the Marine Corps as infantry is so they can talk shit for the rest of their life. Yeah. Yeah. You join any other job. Yeah. And you can still talk shit, but you can only talk shit to a certain level. As yeah. as a grunt, as an eleven series or eighteen yeah. series, you could talk shit to anybody from any branch for yeah. any reason. <laughs> well, it, 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 you know, I always I always I talk shit. I could I feel like I could talk shit to yeah. anybody. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, there's some dudes just talking shit because he's uh whatever. Yeah. Right. Or tanker or more tailor. I'm like, good. And yeah, they get, I'm like, man, you better ask about me, dude. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll beat your ass and then, you know, or I mean, but it's all fun and games. Right? Yeah. There's always some, some healthy banner, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it, man. I, 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 I think. The only thing uh, I would do different is because when I went to active duty, it was in 98 and I joined the infantry and there was no war. Yeah. And I was just riding it out as an infantry guy having fun. Yeah. Yeah. If I would know that in 2003, I would deploy. Yeah. I would, I would definitely have got to my unit, tried to go SF. Yeah. Like that, I mean, that would have been yeah. my path for sure. Yeah. To be on the ground you know yeah so I, I realized the army had changed because i made a comment one time and then and it wasn't a bad comment man i i i'll 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 say it now i don't think i can still get I was like, yeah, but I, that's it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, you think, do you think America is real patriotic? As as patriotic as you know, you right. know, like you said, you know, September twelfth. Yeah, and it was one of those. I mean, they kind of, you, you know, I, I wasn't really wrong. Yeah. Uh, but he said, well, next time you got to, you know, be careful. What you Your rank and audience must have had something. To oh do, yeah, yeah. Must have had something to do with why yeah. you got called in. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. 
But you know, it was some like leaders can't be scared. I don't care what what career field you're in. Yeah. If you're a leader, you can't be scared. You mm-hmm. gotta you gotta know your job, know your people, and you yeah. know, be ready to fight for them. Right at the end of the day. But uh, we had a lot of you know fearful leaders in, in oh, the army too. Right? Oh Jesus! When 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 we deployed in 2003, mm-hmm. right? We had all the E7s and E8s. Yeah, we're all peacetime E7s and E8s. Yeah. So we were in Kuwait getting ready to like within hours of crossing the berm and we're getting yelled at for our boots not being shot and haircuts yes. and haircuts. <laughs> My <laughs> favorite though is once we got up to Mosul, like, they were insane. like, Next. okay, you guys have to start doing morning PT. Oh, it's like, bitch, you seen our fucking op tempo? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you want me to go what before I go on a fucking 14 hour mission? Yeah. yeah. Wait, <laughs> wait l- let me, let me get, take my five hours of sleep and cut it down to four so I can do PT. I, I actually had, in, when I was in charge of the sniper section, I had to ban my guys from going to the gym. Yeah. Because they would, we would go on a mission and they were so fucking sore, they yep. couldn't carry shit. No. So what we did I'm is, like, fucking no more gym. What like, we did is we, we, we worked out every day for like three or four hours every single day. Right. But nobody ever did leg day. <laughs> not yeah. once yeah. nobody did because we carried so much weight and all of our missions were on foot yeah the one it ended up one way whether we got yeah. you yeah. know air assaulted in or we took a, a vehicle or whatever we yeah. ended up on foot and we're running and climbing and going up and down stairs and, and you know whatever yeah. and it's just so we just came to the mm. conclusion like you do whatever you want to do to work out yeah but you're not doing legs yeah and the one day the one day i had to carry grab the radio from my guy because his fucking arms are so sore i'm like that's it <laughs> mm, fucking we're done yeah because they would i mean they'd go to the gym this was the second deployment but they they'd go to the gym for fucking three hours mm-hmm. a day and and kill each other we got nothing yeah. else like, to do like calm down yeah. guys we have fucking <laughs> we have missions to do like yeah, yeah. but see fun time yeah it was fun <laughs> so. well shit i think yeah. uh, we should probably wrap this one up hmm. but uh yeah so tomorrow night if you're yep. in san antonio come out yeah. to four nines what's your four, four nine four nine four nine, four nine. Nine. there's four no nines. s on the nines four nine. one nine four nine and where's the what's the address? It's uh two two eight zero six US Highway two eighty one North, uh suite one zero one, San Antonio, Texas, seven eight two six. I'm sorry, seven eight two five eight. There goes my radio voice. Fuck. Very good. I thought I was gonna nail it. <laughs> uh, got got the deep voice going and everything. So. But so. yeah, come on, man. It's gonna be great. Three, you know, veteran owned businesses. Yeah. All working together. It's all great. working together. It'll be fun. Man. So I'll work hard for at least an hour and then I'll start drinking. I was going to say, yeah. if you yeah. have never had horse soldier whiskey, this is your chance to come taste it. Yeah. 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 Man, it's going to be fun. Oh, hey, I'm jealous. Are you going to wear some camouflage? You gotta, I, got, I got something special. Yeah. I got my original field jacket. Did you got to show up in the gilly suit? <laughs> I, I got a field jacket. It's got to be cold, though. I don't know if it's going to be cold. I mean, but yeah, it's Veterans Day. It's it's our you know way of showing our appreciation for our veterans. Right? Did so you change your that. profile picture? On what? On your Facebook? No. Oh, you had to change your profile picture to what? picture you in the uniform. Oh, no, it's so a that way you let the it's world a know. Logo. You let the world know that you're veterans. Nobody cares. I got. I, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, I have my 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 my. Re- <laughs> I have mine ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my whole sniper section. Yeah. <laughs> no, we. Well, we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be that one. I, I can't. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> nothing, I got nothing. Uh, All right. Yeah. Well, hopefully we see you guys tomorrow night. And yeah. uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for coming out. Hey, thanks for having me, man. It's Any always time, a blast, man. man. You know, come back. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, we'll have to do an AAR after yeah, the yeah, event. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>